Hello, good evening, Patricia Melara. Are you there? Hello. Good evening. Hello, good evening. Hi, Evaristo. How are you? I'm pretty good. Oh, that's How nice. Are you? I'm fine. Okay. Um, let's see, we're going to wait for, uh, for your classmates and then we're going to start with the class. Um, let's see. Okay, <laughs> okay, Evaristo. Okay, where are you from? Evaristo? Excuse me? Where are you from? Uh, I'm from San Miguel. And you're living in San Miguel? Oh, okay. Yeah, I'm living. Good. <laughs> We're neighbors. I live in, in Osulatan. Really? Yes. Hey. Where where do you learn English? Where do you learn English in a university? Where? Ah, eh, I I learn English in Universidad Gerardo Barrios. So I take the bachelor degree in English. Wow, nice, nice, yeah. excellent. And you? Where do you learn English? Uh, I used to live in in USA like oh, seven years States. ago. Um, Very good. Yeah, but now I, um, actually, I, I, actually I live in El Salvador, but uh, uh, I'm getting my, my degree in the university, El Salvador, Universidad El Salvador. Okay. I'm getting oh. my degree, my, yeah. It's like nice. a bachelor, right? Bachelor yes, degree. Yes, it's a bachelor degree in English. Uh, in, in, takes five yeah, years, right? Bachelor degree and it's five years. Yeah. <laughs> okay. How are you doing I with the with the TOEFL done. test? I already done. Okay. How how are you doing with the TOEFL test? Mm -hmm. You take it? You already take it? Yes. Really? How are you doing? Could you repeat? Could you repeat? Uh, how, how are you doing with your TOEFL test? Uh, no, I need I need more practice. <laughs> oh, okay, grammar, okay. <laughs> uh, that, that's why uh, I'm I'm here in this level. Oh, okay, yeah. okay, that that's great. So yeah, you, if if you want to 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 success in in the TOEFL test, what you need is just practicing, and and also uh, you need to focus uh, in listening to you and and reading too, but. Uh, as you know, the, the grammar part in, mm -hmm. in the structure, it, it has like a high score. So if you focus on that, you, you can you can success on it. Yeah, yeah. Okay, because um, I, I, from, I've been seeing and to you and all your classmates, mm -hmm. you have a good level in English, okay? Yeah, thank you, thank you. I need to improve. <laughs> It's okay, uh, welcome, uh, Mr. Um, Carlos. Mr. Carlos, how are you doing? Okay, um, I can hear you, Mr. Okay, I'm, I'm okay, and, and I'm ready for the class. Okay, very good. That's nice. Okay, very good. You're from El Salvador too? Who? Me? You, yes, Carlos. Yes, I, I, I am from I am Salvador. I am Salvadorian, 100 percent Okay. Where where do you live? I live in Soyapango. Soyapango? Oh. 
Oh, nice. Near, near to Plaza Mundo. Oh, got it. Oh, very good. <laughs> yes. You can find me here. <laughs> I'm so far. I'm I'm living here in Zuluta. Zuluta. Oh. Yes, it's, that's so far. Uh, it's too hot there, right? Hot. Yes, it is. I I I visit that place by uh, uh, fifteen years ago, I guess. Fifteen years ago? Yes, fifteen years Whoa. ago. Whoa! <laughs> a lot. That's of, a lot of time. Yes, but it's a good place. Yes. A lot of places to visit. <laughs> uh, yes, yes, you can, you can. Um... You can visit some of the uh, of the beach that we have here. Uh, have you ever been in in El Espino Beach? No, there no. I I, I haven't been there. Okay. <clears throat> but I hope so one day. <laughs> okay, nice. Uh, welcome, uh, Patricia Melara. Hello. Welcome, Michelle Vidal. Mr. Jose Ramirez. Hi, mister. Hi. Hello. How are you doing? I'm fine, thank you. Okay, that's good. Where Where do you live, mister? I live in Lourdes, Colón. Lourdes, Colón. That's in San Salvador, right? Yeah, it's in La Libertad. Ah, La Libertad. Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah, it's, it's, it's for Santa Tecla. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay, got it. Very yeah. good. <laughs> have, have, you, have you ever visit? Have you ever visit here in Usulitan? Um, um, once, yeah, I think I went for, for, for that. <laughs> Okay, um, I was talking yeah. with with Mr. Uh, Carlos Herrera, and, and he told me that he visited uh, here in Osolotan uh, around 15 years ago. So <laughs> yeah, I I hear here. I I, I visited. Uh, I went to the San Miguel in La Unión, but I think that Osolotan uh, is a uh, is. Uh, out for the the principal the street i think uh, that's depend which roads you're taking uh if you're taking the panamericana yeah so I that's think. so far but if you take uh these roads la litoral so you go through the Sulutan. yeah because i remember san miguel and remember la union but at the same time I, I, I didn't okay that means that, that you take the, the other road um yeah. that is la, Panamer la panamericana okay yeah i, I welcome because it is it's, it's fast it's faster to travel in yeah it's faster yeah that's right it's faster uh, to go from san salvador to uh, san miguel that's the that's uh, the good option uh, welcome Ana molina Hi. Good evening, teacher. How are you? Good evening. I'm fine. Here we are talking with uh, Mr. Carlos and, and Jose Ramirez. Okay. okay. I hear you. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Where, where do you live, uh, Miss Miss Ana? Uh, I live in San Salvador. San Salvador. Uh, I, I yes. The La Rabida Colony. Ah, okay. Uh, I see that many of you live in San Salvador. Uh, yes. I just... <laughs> That's great. So um, we're going to start in some minutes the, the, the class. We're going to wait just, give me just one minute. We're going to wait just one minute more and then uh, we're going to start, okay? Okay.
Okay. Well, we're going to start with the class. Uh, welcome to everyone, uh, everyone here. Uh, I can see that we are 11 uh, people connected to the video conference. So, but anyway, we're going to start. Uh, so, we're going to review the topic that we were discussing um, yesterday. Do you remember what is uh, the topic of yesterday class? Describing the problem two, okay. uh, I use the needs and keeps. Okay. Plus yes, that's right. We're constructing sentences using keep and using need. Uh, we have three different uh, structures while writing um, a sentence. I remember that we were using uh, the subject plus keep plus gerund. And also we're using uh, the subject plus need plus gerund. And the other one, can you help me with that? What is the other structure that we were discussing yesterday? Was need subject? plus uh, passive infinitive. Mm. Remember, uh, it's the other one. Yeah. Remember that uh, we were discussing- uh, The structure of the sentence. Yes. The, okay, we have two structures. The first one using keep uh, plus your, the second one using need plus your, and the third one? Yes. Which one? Uh, needs to be. Need plus? To, plus to be. Past participle. Ah, past participle. Okay, yes, past okay. participle. Okay, very good. So, um, let's review that. Give me a second. I will move uh, the slide. Describing problems review. Um, okay. First of all, you are going to learn. Um, I mean, we're going to see the uh, objectives for today's class. It says that participants will learn vocabulary for discussing things that can go wrong with electronic items. This topic is related to the ones that we have been discussing in previous classes. Uh, the first topic that was describing, uh, describing problems and the second one that is describing problems too. Okay, we're discussing that. So today we are going to see some vocabulary that we can use while constructing sentences using those structures. Let's see about it. We're going to um, watch a video. Uh, please let me know if you can uh, listen the soundtrack and also the script of the audio. Okay, so. Hello, we want you to work on the following sentences. You may complete them by using the correct form of keep and the words in the box. This time, you will do this exercise on your notebook and ask your teacher to check them for you. My computer is driving me crazy. It. The buttons on the remote control always stick. They. The UCD player often jumps to another song. It. Our new flat screen TV has a problem. It. Those old cell phones never work right anymore. They, sometimes Ed can't use his solar powered calculator. It, my computer screen needs to be replaced. It, the answering machine never picks up any calls. It, ready to describe a problem with an electric item you own? Follow. Okay, um, we already watched the video and you listen to the instructions, right? What we're going to do is to complete the sentence that we have there uh, and then I will be checking your sentence. Um, she said that we're going to do it in, in, in a notebook, but uh, we are not using a notebook. So we are going to do it in the chat of this video conference. I will uh, show you all the sentences and please write one by one there and I will, and I will be checking 
uh, your sentences, okay? So go ahead. These are the sentences. We have a sentence. Choose, uh, to, to, to make it easy, choose three sentences, the ones that, that, that you want, okay? Three sentences and then uh, write it down in, in the uh, video conference chat and I, will, and I will be checking the answer that you write, okay? So let's see. If you have any question, please, and you can open your microphone and ask me.
Okay, very good. So I see that you already complete the activity. I've been checking some of your answers and I can see that you already mastered this topic using keep or using need. Most of you are being, uh, have been using uh, the word keep, 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 uh, and it's okay. The structure is okay. But remember that you can also use uh, the other structures, okay? Using need, okay? So uh, we're going to move to the following slide and check it out this. And it calls it. Um, okay. Give me a second, I can see the screen. No, I can see it. Okay, now it's working. And... Can you see the sentence that I'm writing in the whiteboard? Yes. 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 Okay, thank you. So, what we're going to do right now is to construct the sentence, uh, three, these three sentences that you um, write down on the chat. We're going to change the structure. Instead of using keep, what we're going to do is using, um, using need. And let's see how uh, do you construct it. Go ahead. This is just for practicing, okay? Um, okay, there you have the three sentences. Okay, um, something that I have to tell you. Uh, in this case, you need to use a, a subject and the subject that, that, that you're going to use is the noun of the sentence that uh, you already, uh, that you already see in the, in the previous slide. Uh, if you can't see the slide, I don't know if you can see it in, in the video conference or you just see the uh, whiteboard. I just see the whiteboard. Okay, okay. Well, um, let me write the. Just let me write the, 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 the subjects, okay? I will write just the three subjects that you need.
Can you see the, the subjects there? No? Yes, teacher. Yes. Okay, so. Okay, Adela Garcia already answered um, in the chat and she said the computer need, needs fixing. Okay, very good. Uh, the remote control needs to be replaced. Nice. Let's see someone else. The old cell phone needs saving. Okay, very good. So that's a, that, those are good options. What um, giving an action to um, to the things that we have to do for what we have been reporting in in, in the structure using KIPS. Okay. Very good. My computer keeps going, keeps going that. In this case, um, let's see, Evaristo, uh, we are using, in, instead of keep, we are using the structure need. Okay? So um, remember that we have uh, both, uh, both options. We already work on the, on the sentence using keep, but now we need the ones that uh, use the structure of need. Very good. The old cell phone needs to be changing. Uh, okay, uh, just one um, one thing here. Remember, uh, when we use the verb to be, we need a uh, what? There is someone here that can help me with it. Go to the chat and see the, the sentence that we have there. Uh, the old cell phone needs to be changing. Is it correct? Changed. Change. Okay. Why? No, tell, it, me, it, tell me why. Because, because uh, when you, when we use the verb to be, we mm -hmm. have to add a, a verb in past participle. In past participle. Okay. Just that. Um, if we use to be the next word, in this case, if it is a verb, uh, we need the past participle of that verb. But very good. The rest of the sentence is okay, um, Ana Molina. Okay, very good. So, I see that you already uh, know how to structure the sentence, and that's good. So that's mean that we are going to move on. We're going to uh, be discussing the next topic. Um, let's see, I will show you the screen, I mean the slide of the topic that we're going to be working on. Okay, uh, before starting this topic, do you have any questions about the uh, describing problems? Do you have any questions? Do you need, um, do, do you, hello, tell me.
um, alguien, I'm sorry, I mean, sorry. Uh, someone um, open the microphone. Let me see. Give me a second. Okay, very good. So um, if you have any questions about describing a problem, please tell me right now. If not, we are going to move to the following topic that is passive with prepositions. Um, the, this topic, in this topic, we are going to be discussing three things. First of all, we're going to know the objective. Um, the objective says by the end of this class, you will be able to describe causes with a uh, by, because of, due to, through, and as a result of. You will do, I mean, you will do it so by using present continuous passive and present perfect passive. Um, let's move to this. First of all, what is preposition? What is a, a preposition for you? I will stop sharing because I want to listen to you. What is a preposition for you? Does anyone here has an, has an answer? Prepositions? Don't be afraid, just, just share what you know, okay? And the propositions are the for for place and time, I think. Okay, like very good. Home, okay. After. We use it after. Yes. After a noun. After a noun. Okay. We're going to see that. Very good. Excellent. Thank you. Let's see. Uh, someone else wants to share something about prepositions? If you um, don't know the definition of prepositions, you can give me examples of prepositions if you want. For uh, prepositions, we have in, at, on. Okay, very good. Thank you. Someone else? It's a word that express a relation to another work or element. Okay, very good. Excellent. Someone else? Could be like a link between the subject and an adjective. Okay, okay. nice, nice. Let's see. Now I will show you the definition of a preposition and, and let's see um, the things that we have been discussing. Okay, go ahead. A preposition, okay, is a word or a group of word used before, okay, before a noun, a pronoun or noun phrase to show direct directions um, time, place, location, special relationships, and introduce an object. Okay, so remember this. The prepositions, as the word, it says pre. Uh, prepositions, that means before, okay? Before, a, a pronoun or noun phrase to show um, the things that we or that we can read in this slide. Let's see some of the examples of the prepositions that we're going to be working on. Here we have, well, you have these prepositions in, on the platform, so you can check it, and then you can solve the exercise that you have there. Um, there is someone here who has completed this, um, or, well, if I complete any of the, of the exercise of the topic number 2.1, that's mean pass it with prepositions. Or you haven't taken that topic yet. 
Not yet. Not yet. Okay. No. Okay. So we are going to move there. Um, if you haven't taken it, this is going to be helpful to you to solve the exercise that you have there and to practice. Okay. Let's see. These are the prepositions that we're going to be discussing. By, because of, as a result of, due to, and also through. Here we have an example. Um, Miss, let's see, someone who do not participate. Uh, Vanessa. Vanessa, are you there? No. Okay. Uh, let's see. Ronald Barrera. Hi, teacher. Hi. Hello. How are you? I'm great. Thanks. Okay, very good. Can you help me reading the example that we have in this slide? Okay, too many trees have been cut down because of overbuilding. Okay, thank you, very good. So in this sentence, um, you can see that we're using the preposition because of. Uh, if we know the definition of, of the prepositions, can you tell me in this sentence, what is the noun used after the preposition? Can you identify it? Overbuilding. Okay, overbuilding. Very good, excellent. Um, something that we need to know in this part is that all the prepositions that we have here has a similar meaning, okay? Um, all of them are related by the meaning uh, that they have while constructing a sentence. Let's move to the following slide. This is um, something that, sure. uh, tell me. Excuse, sorry, uh, what means due to? Due to, it's like, um, well, let me go to the previous slide, okay. Uh, yes, in, in Spanish means that, in Spanish mean that uh, in English, um, it's like to say as a result of, okay? As a result of, uh, you can use it, as I told you, these prepositions have a similar meaning, okay? If you, if you use due to, um, that's mean that you can use the, the preposition as a result of. Like your classmate said in Spanish, debido a, o como resultado de. Okay, uh, thanks. Okay, let's go to the, to the following slide. And here we are going to be discussing uh, the present continuous passive. Uh, you already know the structure of the present continuous, right? Can you refresh that topic to me, please? Present continuous passive. Uh, don't don't um, go to the passive thing yet. We're going to be focused first in present continuous. Um, do you know how, what is the structure of present continuous? If I'm the, in the right page, um, okay. we have the subject. Okay, very good. Uh, an auxiliary, which is have an the auxiliary. Okay, which which auxiliary auxiliary is used uh, in present continuous? Have. Have. Okay. And do you agree? The rest, do you agree with that answer? ING 
ing mm, okay no we are talking uh, about the auxiliary verb that is used in present continuous is but okay i i, I will give you um a, a clue is the most common verb used in english verb to be yes be exactly if we write a sentence in present continuous, we need a subject. And also we need a small authority thing, the use of verb to be. Um, while writing a sentence, depend on the subject that we're using, in this case, the pronoun that we're using, um, we're going to use the form of the verb to be. What are the form of the verb to be? Is, am, um, and are. And let's see, after the verb to be, what is the next element used in present continuum? Being. Being. The okay. verb plus I. Being. Being is an example of being is an example of present continuum. But if we just focus in present continuum, okay? Just been? Okay, uh, I, I will refresh this topic. Uh, the present continuous is to report an action that is happening in, 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 in a specific moment. That's mean uh, now, the present continuous and um, the structure of the person continues is subject plus the auxiliary verb to be, and that's mean am, um, is, are, um, and also the verb with ing form, not just being, yeah, we, because we're talking about just the present continuous, okay? The present continuous is constructed by the subject plus verb to be plus the verb with ing form. It could be being, it could be working, it could be uh, swimming, it could be like singing, uh, and many other verbs that, that, that we can use in the ing form, okay? So that's the present continuous, okay? Because it is an action that is happening now in the moment. But because you are in pre-advanced level, now we're going to see how we construct a present continuous passive, okay? Using the structure of the present continuous, but using the passive, um, the passive voice of this sentence. In this case, if we're going to, um, I have a problem here. It says your internet connection is unstable. Can you hear me? Yes. Yes. Okay, yeah. very good. So the, the thing is, uh, 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 I got a message in my screen, but okay. Um, in this part, what we are going to do is um, use the present continue uh, in passive boy in the structure of this is subject plus verb to be. And in this case, we're going to use to, to, to write a passive form, we're going to use the verb V with the ing form, okay? Uh, if I write a sentence, for instance, let me see if I can use the pencil here. Uh, okay, if I use a sentence as an example, okay? She, can you see what, what I'm writing? Yes. yes, yes. Okay. Okay, in this case, I'm using the subject she, uh, which uh, form of the verb to be I'm going to use here? Is. Is, okay, is, very good. In this case, the present continuous passive tell me that the structures need the verb being. That's mean that I'm going to write she is, Vin Vin and we are going to use a past participle. 
Um, as you already know, the past participle, can you give me uh, one example of it? It's been? Uh, could be, I have been learning English since two weeks ago. She's been English. Uh, well, we need, learning. we need a verb in past participle. Learning. Learning, is it a... Uh, learn. Learning, it's, it's a gerund. Learn. 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 With ED. Okay, let's see. You mean this. Learn. Okay. Uh, I mean, sorry. I, I read it wrong. Uh, uh, sorry, the the letter A is is missing here. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But I can I can find the eraser. Okay, there. Okay, now it's okay. She's been learned. What does it mean? Can you help me with that? What does it mean? She's been learned. That's a, that she okay. is, is uh, being studied something. Exactly. Yes. That's another way to say it. Very good. So this is the structure that we're going to be using in the following examples that we are going to be solving in, during this video conference if we have time. If not, we're going to do it in the video conference that we are going to take tomorrow, okay? So this is the present continuous passive. Now we're going to move to the present perfect passive. In this case, we have this structure um, as, as the person continues to pass it, uh, where, we where we use the subject plus has or have been plus the past participle form. Um, this uh, present perfect passive depends um, on the subject that we use, I mean, the pronoun that we use we're going to use has, or we are going to use have. But let me ask you, when we use has and when we use have, which are those pronouns uh, that are used for has and the ones that are used for have? Okay, tell me. We use has in the third person and we use have for the first one and the third person. Okay, very good. Can you help me? Um, can you help me with the pronouns in third person? In the third person, there are she, he, she, and it. She, he, and it. Very good, excellent. And what are the rest of the other um, pronouns? The first person is I, and the second person are they, we, and you. Very good, excellent. So, um, let me see someone here, I will ask to... Elisa Lopez, are you there? Yes, I'm here. Okay, Elisa, you are going to help me writing a subject, I mean, a sentence using present perfect uh, passive. Okay? Uh, Please tell me. Okay, you You're are going, going to. Okay, you are going to help me to write a present perfect passive sentence. 
Okay. First of all, what we need is a subject. Can you tell me a subject? It could be a noun or pronoun. You have. Okay, let's see. You. You has or have? Has. Have, has. have, have. Sorry. Okay, okay. Have. <laughs> have. Okay, have. you have. What else? Been. Been. Very good. Yeah. Been. What else? Work. Work. Let's see. Like that. Like that. Since the morning. Okay, we're going to write an extra information. Let's see. Since morning. We're going to write it here. Morning. You have been work since the morning. Okay, thank you. Uh, let's see. The sentence that we have here. Can you help me with it? Uh, if there is any volunteer. Uh, to tell me what does it mean? Okay. Uh, in English, in English. Okay, Ana, Ana Silvia. Um, okay. Tell me what does it mean, but in English, like, like what is the action that is happening here? Or okay. that has happened? Maybe he, the person has been worked. Work, okay, has been worked. All the day? The whole day. Okay, very good. Nice. Another thing that we can use in this um, sentence Um, okay, give, give me a second because I, ha I have a problem with my computer. I can see this slide right now. Uh, okay, now it's working. Okay, uh, another thing that we can use here in this sentence uh, <clears throat> it's uh, another definition of work, but in this case, we're going to use a synonym. Um, can you help me with a, a synonym? That mean have to be a, a synonym of work. Instead of using work, what could be another uh, another synonym about it? Mm -hmm. Any volunteer? May I join? Okay, go ahead. Um, he has. Sorry. I can I can listen to you. He has Maybe been laboring. Um, I don't know if, if the problem is with my speaker, but I can understand what you're saying uh, because yeah, it's, I, it's I an... I can understand too. Okay. Maybe, maybe it's a microphone, okay? But if you, have, if you have an option, can you please write it down in the chat, please? And we're going to write it here in the slide. Because I, I can understand what you say, because it, there is a noise.
Miss, can you write it down in the chat of this video conference? Hello. Does anyone here have another option instead of work? Like using a synonym? Someone wrote something in the Zoom chat. Okay. Uh, laboring. Okay. That, that, that is a good example. But um, what could, I mean, what is the past participle of, of labor? Because there you have, there you have laboring using the ing form. But we need a past participle. Labor it. Okay, very good. Thank you, Adela Garcia. Yes. Let's see. Uh, sorry, I make a mistake again. Okay, that's a synonym. A synonym. You have been labor since the morning. Okay, thank you. Very good. Let's go to the following slide. Because we're going to use these structures, the present, the present continuous, and also the present perfect passive, to construct um, sentence using the prepositions. Let's let's move to it. Um, let me see here. Okay. Check out this this information. You have this information in, in the in a platform, and it says passive with prepositions. First of all, we have the present continuous passive, and also uh, we have the present perfect passive. If you see the column that we have on right, um, we're going we're going to write a sentence using a prepositions. Uh, the first example uh, that we have here is the air is being polluted by fumes from cars and trucks. Okay. The second sentence, it says, city streets are being damaged as a result of heavy traffic. In the present perfect passive, we have the roadways has been jammed because of people's dependence on cars. Uh, the example number four, it says many ports has been lost through overbuilding. Yeah. And the last one, it says the homeless has been displaced due to overcrowding in city shelters. Okay. So these are the examples that, um, mm -hmm. these are the examples that we can take into account while writing or constructing a um, present continuous passive using prepositions, okay? Using prepositions. Remember, these prepositions that you have in a slide means or have a similar meaning while we are replying something, okay? Uh, let's see. Do you have any questions uh, till now about this topic, about present continuous passive and uh, present perfect passive? Do you have any question? No, I don't have a question, teacher. Okay, very good. What about the rest? Uh, excuse me, you, you said the, the old preposition, this preposition uh, have the same meaning. No, uh, no, no. Uh, no, have a sim uh, have a similar meaning, not the same. Okay. Uh, okay. A similar meaning. Similar. 
Uh, we yes. can we can use the or combine the the preposition in that in that sentence. Uh, you mean change it like instead of using uh -huh. by? Yeah. We can use yes. la, as a result of or because yes. of through. Yes, we can we can do it. We can do it. Uh, for instance, we can say the air is being polluted due to fumes from cars and trucks. Okay, so you can use it in that way. Okay, thank you. Okay. Welcome. Uh, let's see. We're going to go to a practice time. Let me see the owl. Okay. Uh, I see that the time is over. We already have the 60 minutes of the video conference. That's mean that we're going to be working uh, tomorrow um, in this exercise. I uh, want you to go to the platform and check the videos that you have there. Please, after watching a video, you have the option of uh, posting a, or interacting in a photo, uh, a photo, okay? So go there, watch the video, and um, if you have like exercise, exercise to solve, post it in that space. Uh, let me see, someone is sending a, a message. Which video? Okay, uh, it's not video, it's uh, videos that you have in the platform since, since you are taking uh, the lessons in the platform, uh, you have um, uh, an options there that is a, a forum where you can uh, post. Um, maybe um, you can post examples of what's been discussed there. Ah, you mean lesson one and lesson two? Um, you may work in both, in lesson one and lesson two the ones that we have been discussing, okay? Um, you can go there, watch the video again, if you want, or if you think that it, it's not necessary to watch the video again, just go and post a, a, um, some of the exercise that you have been solving or, if, or something interesting that um, you can take from that video. The thing is to create interaction in that photo. Uh, if you have any questions, you can um, you can write there too, uh, or you can leave a, a message there, and I will check in the platform, and I will and I will be answering you all your uh, questions, and I will be checking all your sentences, and I will give you a feedback of all of the things that you're um, interacting in platform. Okay. So um, I recommend that I, uh, uh, well, I suggest that uh, because in that way you are going to be practicing all the exercise that, that's been uh, prepared for you in the platform. Is it okay? Okay, yes, it's okay. Yeah. Thank you, teacher. Okay, very good. So I will see you tomorrow and have a nice night. Okay. Thank you. Good night. You too. Thank you. Thank you. Good, Good night, night, everybody. Bye bye. Good night. Bye bye. See you tomorrow. Good night, Mister.